Well, the Thanksgiving holiday has come and gone, but now health officials are worried that the second wave of coronavirus could get even worse. Millions of people who traveled for the holiday are now getting tested, including right here in Mississippi. Joining us now is William Herring, president and CEO of Trust Care, to talk about the spike in COVID testing since the Thanksgiving holiday. Mr. Herring, thanks so much for joining us. Without, no problem. Thanks for having me. Without being too specific, can you tell us if Trust Care is seeing a high number of COVID testing after the Thanksgiving holiday? Uh, we've been seeing escalated testing volumes uh, actually since uh, late October moving into November. Um, right now, with how close in proximity it is to this Thanksgiving holiday, we have not seen a drastic increase over what we we're seeing in the prior weeks quite today. Uh, we do expect the numbers to continue to increase. Uh, we're also seeing a slightly higher percentage of positivity rate as well. What kind of tests are you using and how long does it typically take for someone to know if they're positive or not? Uh, traditionally, we have, we have two different tests we, we run that are rapid tests and then we also have uh, lab-based PCR tests. Uh, the rapid tests that we're using, one is an antigen-based, which is Quadel. Uh, that test usually becomes uh, accurate within about three to five days of exposure. So at that point in time, people would be able to, uh, to know whether or not they are positive for COVID-19. Uh, Abbott is the other test that we're using that's a rapid uh, molecular RNA. Uh, that one falls within about the same criteria. Uh, Lab-based PCR, um, which is uh, primarily available at our COVID-only testing center, um, is uh, usually accurate within two to three days after exposure. Uh, but as a general rule, it's good to wait between four and six days before getting any testing uh, completed after exposure, just to ensure that you're getting the most accurate test result. Are you concerned that the Christmas holiday is going to keep your clinics even busier than what you've already seen? I think you kind of answered that question because you said you expect it to continue. Uh, yeah, we, we, we do expect it to uh, to continue. Um, I'm not 100% positive whether or not we've seen the peak from this second surge or not. Um, our, our numbers are, are, are staying relatively consistent right now, uh, but the, the, the trend is not going in the direction that we would like to see it going in. Um, and, and obviously all we can do is, in, is encourage people to continue to have their guard up and, and be cautious uh, during this time. All right. Mr. Herring, thank you so much. William Herring with Trust Care, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. No, no, no problem. You guys have a good evening. Thank you.